Hey everybody, Pablo here. And uh, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, Eric, the car guy, does that and I like that. So I'm gonna start doing it on my videos too. And uh, a little tip of the hat to Vsauce. Um, anyways, this is the Color Craft Gravel Siphon. Uh, I've been using it for about a year and uh, it works pretty good but I haven't seen any videos online on what it's like to actually use it uh, with a heavily planted tank so I'm gonna show you some of the good things and some of the headaches that I have while I use it so oh uh, and before I do that little caveat um, I did a little hack on it it takes a uh, D batteries or C batteries or whatever size batteries that you don't have at home because who carries those weird batteries anyways so I did this grabbed a piece of cardboard rolled it up put it in there and now you can use double A's I have tons of these they are rechargeable and it works so if you have also something with C batteries or D batteries uh, double A's will do just fine most of the applications so it'll last a little less time but I have a ton of them and I don't have any C's or D's and rechargeables of those are hard to find and they're gonna be expensive so try this next time you get stuck a little bit of cardboard rolled up so let's give this a try let me show you um, it's a little hard to get it started especially in a shallow tank like this small tank this is a little big so move some of the plants out of the way so I can get to the bottom put it tilted so I can get some water coming in all the way through and there you go I need to trim this tank. Maybe I should trim it before I vacuum. Let's see how this works under the close up. See? Picks up all that gunk. I'm recording this with the Nexus 6P. And the Nexus 6P has terrible macro, terrible, well known, it does not like to focus up close, so I apologize if we're having some uh, focusing issues. But as you can see, all the gunk is getting picked up. And uh, it'll pick up even heavier pieces that you don't think it was going to. And uh, when it's got a full battery, this thing will pick up uh, the, all the rocks from the bottom. Which makes it a pain. So all the rocks will get stuck. And you have to be very, very gingerly. Now, 
Another thing when you're working a small tank like this, to be careful. Because when you take it out, it'll lose its vacuum. So then you have to put it back in, kind of jiggle it a little bit. Dunk it sideways like this, and there it goes again. See the water? And as long as you don't take it out too far out, you're okay. When you pick up some heavy stuff, you can actually see it. Once uh, you've done vacuuming, you'll notice that the bag is full of stuff. So that means I'm just uh, very late on doing my cleaning. But uh, we'll take this bag and uh, rinse it off. And uh, let me show you how much gunk there is. How to uh, clean this thing? Pretty easy. The sock removes and the uh, you can see how filthy that is. And it comes apart. That comes apart. Just put that little bag right there. That comes apart. This comes apart. And if you're careful, and give it a little bit of There you go, this comes apart too, so you can clean the inside. That's clean. This is the... Uh, delicious. Do not wash with soap, just water. Because if you wash it with soap, then the soap will go inside your tank. So, just water, and that's it. Ready to uh, clean the tank again.